Hey Internet, just got back from seeing the Warcraft movie and figured I'd drop in a little review thing here to let you know how it was. Uh, first off, I went into this movie doing something I don't normally do, which is I read all the reviews online. Um, nothing with spoilers, but I went in with a hundred different people's opinions of what the movie was and would be and what to expect, and honestly, most of them were absolute crap. Uh, the movie itself, unlike what you've probably heard, is actually amazing. Uh, the effects are incredible. Uh, all the actors, I thought, did a really good job. The story itself was actually paced pretty well. The action was great. Uh, the effects, once again, were wonderful. It's worth mentioning twice because everything looked amazing. Overall, it was actually just a really good movie. Um, I went with someone who does not play games and was not familiar at all with the franchise. Uh, so, obviously, he's not one of the over 8 million people that are now online. And he was able to keep up with it and enjoy it just as much as I did. So, it's actually done really well in that it takes a very big franchise with a lot of lore, a lot going on, a huge, massive in-game world, and makes it feel grand in the movie, but still makes it concise enough to make sense to someone watching who isn't entirely familiar. Uh, now, I'm not going to get into spoiler territory because I know it just came out, and if you're watching this, you're probably familiar enough with the game that you know what's going to happen anyway, but there's no reason to ruin it. I will say, however, they do a lot of things in the movie to kind of shout out and nod the game more than just following the lore. Uh, like, for example, you see a murloc at one point when they're going over a bridge. Uh, some of the sound effects, a lot of the background music, like when you're in Stormwind and Ironforge and that, will immediately be reminiscent of the game. Uh, there's just a lot of little nods to the players. Uh, at one point, and it's worth mentioning because it's not story-related, uh, Mage actually turns someone into a sheep, even. So, there's a lot going on in here that definitely makes it feel like the game and just keeps it a little fun and lets you know that it recognizes that you played and this is something you love. But it also stays really true to the lore. It creates the world well. It follows the characters very well. And overall, it just feels like a really good fantasy movie and also a surprisingly good video game movie. Um, some people have said that I mean, video game movies are usually crap, everyone knows that, but I've seen a few people said that this was another one that was just terrible, and because this was such a high-profile and expensive movie, that this would be the straw that broke the camel's back in proving that games can never transition over to Hollywood. And honestly, I would say quite the opposite. I think this is proof that video game movies can be good. I mean, I don't know if this would necessarily rival something as iconic as, like, Lord of the Rings or Harry Potter, but... I'd say it's pretty close. Uh, this was really good. I think it would get people interested even if they're not familiar with the franchise. And it's setting up for sequel or sequels. And I would go and watch those gladly. So I thought this was a very good movie. did very well. And if you're on the fence at all about seeing it, definitely give it a watch. Now I'm going to let you go because it's super late and I still have to edit this shit. So I'm going to be up till a million o'clock in the morning. Good night and I'll see you later.